Understanding Dam and Double Dam, a deep dive. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase that you might have heard in movies, books, or conversations, dam and double dam. It's a phrase that packs emotion and emphasis, and understanding it can add a rich layer to your English comprehension. So, let's unravel its meaning together. To understand, dam and double dam, we first need to break it down. The word, dam, itself is quite versatile in English. It originally comes from a religious context, meaning to condemn to a terrible fate or hell. However, in everyday language, it's used to express anger, frustration, or disappointment. It's important to note that, damn, can be seen as mild swearing, so knowing when and how to use it is crucial. When we say, double damn, we're essentially doubling down on the intensity of the original expression. It's a way to amplify the sentiment, showing a stronger level of annoyance, frustration, or emphasis. Imagine feeling not just upset but very upset, or not just let down, but deeply disappointed. That's where, double damn, fits in. It's like saying, I thought it was bad, but it's even worse than I thought. Understanding the context in which, damn and double damn, is used is key. It's often found in more informal settings among friends or in media. Using it in professional or formal contexts is not recommended due to its nature as mild swearing. Furthermore, it's a phrase that conveys strong emotion, so it should be used sparingly and only when it truly fits the situation. It's also worth mentioning the cultural aspect of using phrases like, damn and double damn. In some cultures and settings, any form of swearing is highly frowned upon, while in others, it's more accepted as part of everyday speech. Being mindful of your audience and their cultural sensitivities is crucial when choosing to use such expressions. And there we have it, a closer look at the phrase, damn and double damn. While it's a phrase that carries strong emotion and emphasis, remember the importance of context and cultural sensitivity when using it. We hope this exploration has added another interesting element to your English language toolkit. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language in our future videos.